Hello, I'm Abby from Sutton Schools Work. Welcome to our online Christmas assemblies. Each week we're going to think about a Bible character, their role in the Christmas story, and ask you a few questions. We'll share with you what Christians believe. And finally, think about what we can learn from each character's story. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Hi, my name is Sarah. Now in our last assembly, we heard about Mary's unexpected visit from an angel. So let's start today's assembly with a game. We have some Christmas pictures for you, which are all mixed up. Can you tell what the picture is? Are you ready? Let's go. Today's Bible story is about a man who is trying to get a good night's sleep. Let's find out what happens. Once upon a time, there was an innkeeper. There was nothing that the innkeeper liked more than a good night's sleep. He just loved to sleep. But one particular night, there was a loud knock at the door. It was a young couple wanting a room for the night. No room! But we're tired. We've travelled through night and day. Oh, there's a smelly stable round the back. It's, like I say, smelly, but it'll do. Hang on there. Please sign the book. Here's a couple of blankets. Good night. The couple signed their names, Mary and Joseph, then took the blankets and left. The innkeeper stomped back to bed angrily. He shut the door, climbed back up the stairs, got back into bed and went to sleep. Later, when he was very deeply and very soundly asleep, there was another knock at the door. He was not too happy to be woken again, but he got out of bed, climbed down the stairs and opened the door. Well now, excuse me, I, I wonder if you could lend us another smaller blanket? Wait there. One smaller blanket. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Then he shut the door, climbed the stairs, got into bed and went to sleep. Then, would you believe it, a bright light woke him up. It was a huge star shining right in his eyes. He climbed out of bed, looked out the window, then drew the curtains firmly. Then he got back into bed and went back to sleep. But then, there was yet another knock at the door. The innkeeper counted to ten, climbed out of bed, stomped down the stairs and opened the door. This time, it was three shepherds. Are, are we be shepherds? What's about a lot of sheep? No, 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 actually, we're here to see Mary and Joseph. 
Round the back. The innkeeper shut the door, climbed the stairs, got into bed and went to sleep. But then there was yet another knock at the door. He could not believe it. He stomped down the stairs and opened the door. This time it was three kings carrying presents. We are three kings. We have come to see... Round the back! The innkeeper slammed the door, climbed the stairs, got back into bed and went back to sleep. But then, a chorus of angels singing woke him up, singing glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. So, he got out of bed, stomped down the stairs, threw open the door, went round the back, stormed into the stable and was just about to speak when... What's all this singing? You'll wake the baby. What baby? A baby boy has been born tonight. Oh, isn't he lovely? Oh, what's his name? His name is Jesus. The innkeeper was thrilled. And somehow, he knew that this was a very special baby. In fact, he thought he was so special that he rushed back to the inn threw open the door, ran up the stairs and woke up all the guests Everybody, in the inn. Wake up. And they all came to look at the new baby. So, in the end, no one got much sleep that night because they were all far too busy celebrating the birth of baby Jesus, God's very own son, born to rescue us all and be our king. That poor innkeeper desperate for a good night's sleep and woken up so many times. Just like Mary, the innkeeper had an important job too. Mary and Joseph had nowhere to stay, the inns were all full, but the innkeeper was willing to offer what he could, a smelly stable, and God used it in an amazing way. It became the birthplace of Jesus. Christians believe that God wants us to bless others, even if we haven't got much to give. It's question time. Who woke up the innkeeper first? Why did Mary and Joseph ask for a smaller blanket? How do you think Mary and Joseph felt when the innkeeper offered them a place to stay? Today we heard about the innkeeper. What can we learn from the innkeeper's story? The innkeeper offered what he could and it was a huge blessing to Mary and Joseph. Give what you can to others, however small your offering might be. Can you offer your time to help someone out? Can you give some clothes or toys that you no longer need? Can you smile at someone as you walk past? Give what you can. You never know what a difference it will make. We hope you enjoyed our assembly today. Next week, we'll be finding out about the angels part in the story. Bye.